Stephen Johnson syndrome, SJS, and toxic epidermal necrolysis, TEN, are urgent, serious, immune reactions in which there is skin loss and severe ulcers in mouth, eyes, and genital areas. These rare diseases affect about 5 to 6 per million under the age of 18 in the UK each year. SJS TEN has a mortality of 5 to 10% and recurs in up to 18% of survivors. The adult guidelines for management of SGST were published in 2016, however these did not address the needs of children and young people. As with adults, there's known to be different approaches between centres and specialties, and there is limited evidence on best practice and limited collection of accurate data. The British Association of Dermatologists led a group of experts to examine the evidence in developing guidelines to aid diagnosis and management of SJS in children and young people. As with many rare conditions, there are a few high quality trials comparing one treatment with another. Therefore, most of the evidence comes from patient examples reported in the literature and expert consensus. Infections are a more common cause than medications in children and young people. Children are less likely to die from SGSTN, however they have a higher chance of occurrence than adults. Preventing long-term complications is of key importance. Management in the early stages in children and young people should ensure the identification of the cause, stopping any possible causal medications and consideration of infection as a potential trigger. The best evidence for improved outcomes is good supportive care in the right clinical environment. SGS TN is an important condition for all medical staff to recognise as prompt diagnosis and making sure that children get urgent support in the correct environment is vital. SGS TN involves so many parts of a person, not just skin. We identified the importance of having a clearly led, multidisciplinary team and supporting children and young people and their families. A common finding of families is that this is a condition that may not have been heard of, so engagement and informing the public is very important. What can you do? Please read the guidelines and use available best evidence to ensure best management for children, young people and their families. Medical staff can be involved in accurate data collection and audit of their practice. We can all work together towards improving outcomes through evidence-based and standardised diagnostics and treatments for young people and children. Thank you for your time and your attention.